Jill McCluskey says that the university actually reached out to her before they released their findings in the death of Zifeng Dong, but she says that didn't make it any easier to hear. In the university's recently released report, the school admits to what they call shortcomings in how staff responded. The university reporting Dung told housing staff her boyfriend assaulted her, but the university did not report that to campus police. McCluskey says the most upsetting thing is seeing a lack of urgency among everyone who was aware of what was going on. Once they received the email that that the murderer um, sent saying that they were going to commit suicide, they were able to find her within about two hours. And I was just thinking, I wish I wish that all that effort had gone in, you know, days earlier instead of instead of when when she's probably already gone. While McCluskey says the university has improved a lot since her daughter's death, it still has a long way to go. She says she's not angry over what happened. She's sad, sad for Dong and her family, saying they're likely still in shock. That's all you can think about. Nothing, nothing, there's nothing else. All you can think about is, is what happened and that, that nothing will ever be the same. And, it will never be okay. McCluskey says that grief never goes away, but the intense grief becomes less frequent as time goes on. She says that we need a major culture change. People need to believe victims and take domestic violence seriously. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Courtney Johns, ABC4 News.